Hey everyone, and welcome back. So in today's video, we're doing what if every moon of Saturn was the same size as Earth? So before we do get into it, so any moons that are uh, beyond Iapetus, I, I got rid of because chances are nothing's going to happen with them and that'll just be too much work to do because I have to go to, uh, to each individual moon and change them to the size of Earth. But these are the moons we have. So, so before we do start, the major moons of Saturn, they have their own colors. So if you ever known, want to know where they are, uh, you can look around for the color, which depends on the situation they could be destroyed by them but who knows so iapis is a purple titan's an orange rhea is a lime kind of color dione is a yellow Excellus is a red, Tethys is a blue, and Mimas is a pink. And there's a whole bunch of other moons like Hyperion, which some of you may know, but some of you may not, which is totally fine. And there's a whole bunch of other little moons here. So some moons like Pandora, Atlas, Pelini, Pan, a whole bunch of little one, little moons. But yeah, let's get started. So it shouldn't take too long before uh, we see a whole bunch of things go down. So yeah, right away, a lot of these moons are now, and ooh, I think Ruslim is destroying a lot of these moons. Yeah, you can see, you can see the mass. So, so some of these moons are too close to Saturn and actually getting destroyed by Ruslim. We may have a first collision here, which I think we, sh we should know who will win here, which it looks like Pan will be the one getting destroyed. But, but who knows, it may, chances are it's a 50-50, but yeah. I do not know how to say this moon's name. So we have a first collision. Besides that, I don't see any... A lot, well, maybe Atlas and Jonas. I think that's how you say I don't know. I'm not very good at pronouncing names. Or one of these two. No, it looks like Atlas is going to collide. Or no, I think they just barely avoid each other. Yeah, but there's a whole bunch of stuff going down already. Like I said, like Iapis, Titan, Hyperion, they're not really doing anything right now. Since there's no really other moons around. I mean, there's moons around, but just not very close to them. It looks like we're going to have another collision here between one of these two. But it looks like, yeah, th this, this one's going to win. I mean, that's what happened. Well, this is a second. Oh, there's one right here, too. Oh, there's another one over here. Well, it looks like uh, Atlas sideswiped. Uh, uh, there's so many. Oh, there was another one. There's so many. Ooh, Mimus and Atlas. Ooh, I think they just. No, I think they fully avoided each other somehow. Ooh. Pelini into Mimus. Mimus will win that. Mimus is pretty huge. Like the other, I mean, they're all pretty much the same size. I think the only thing that's changing when they collide is their mass. Tethys may have a collision or Dione Ray. Oh no, oh, no, they're fine. All right. Oh, there's another one. Wow, this this little moon here is taking out every everyone. Oh, oh, and Mimus. All right. I think that's our first major moon gone. Mimus. And there was another one. This moon's on a rampage. Exceladus collided with something. Prometheus is getting close. Ooh, Dione and Exceladus, maybe. If they do collide, Exceladus is gonna win. Which I think they are. Ooh, something collided with Ray. I have no idea what collided with them. If we go to chart, we ha we can look at everything. So, already a lot of these other moons are gone. So, so as we can see, Epimetheus is the largest one here, which I just quickly uh, looked up on how to pronounce it. Uh, we got Rhea, we got Exceladus, we got Tethys, we got Dione. You can see Earth is right here. So, yeah, already a lot of these moons here are larger than Earth. So, so as you can see, Epimetheus has changed or has grown the most. So, only one major moon has been destroyed, and that's Mimas, the Death Star moon. Maybe Epimetheus and Exceladus. Yeah, those two are getting really close. There goes Exceladus, so that's two major moons destroyed. But I think they're both destroyed by uh, Epimetheus. I actually may be wrong with that one. Uh, I think Prometheus actually destroyed Mimas. I'm not sure. So we still have some some little moons like Helene and Telesto and Daphnis. But for that, I think those are the only little moons left. I mean, they're not little, but there's also Hyperion. But yeah, so our most dominant moon here, of course, is Epimetheus, which may collide with Tethys. Maybe. Again, pretty close which i think they will or no wait no yeah no no tethys is going right in that's another moon major moon destroyed by Ep epimetheus you can see the fragments have gotten all the way to iapetus dione's orbit almost goes to titan i think this is it for prometheus yep there goes Prometheus, Prometheus finally. I was waiting for that to happen. For the most part, Iapis, Hyperion, and Titan haven't really changed, which isn't surprising, but I mean, their orbits are moving around because, well, there's a whole bunch of moons the size of Earth. 
that no, that was I don't know. <laughs> I just I just saw it coming sooner or later, and it just happened to me right right there. Ooh, ooh. Callisto, oh Rhea, right into Rhea. But besides that, I don't think Epimetheus is gonna do much now. The only thing I could see colliding with Epimetheus is Rhea. I think Saturn's actually gotten larger too because of all the fragments. Where's Iapetus? Where did? What? Iapetus is gone! I have no idea what happened to Iapetus, it's just not here anymore. Did I delete it on accident? What happened? I have no idea what happened to Iapetus. I'm confused. I mean, if I did delete it on accident, it's not the worst thing ever, since chances are nothing nothing was going to happen with it, but... Iapetus is gone! I must have deleted it on accident, or it just disappeared. I'm going to have to look back at the recording when edited in. Ooh, I just timed that. Or didn't time it, but I paused it in time. So, H Helene? Helene and Rhea are gonna collide. Or, no, Dione. Which, Dione? Oh, no, they know. Oh, wow. That, well, that's that's boring. I still don't know what happened to Iapetus. I'm gonna have to look back at the recordings. Ooh, okay. Epimetheus and uh, Helene. I think, no, Helene's fine. All right. Yeah, Helene will survive. All right. I'm waiting for this collision between Epimetheus and Helene. Or Dione. Nope, oh, nope. Dione will collide with Helene, which Dione may collide with Epimetheus. I'll cut back when something happens. Alright, nothing's really happening for now. I've been running this for a little bit, but nothing's happened. Just a couple encounters that Titan and Hyperion have had, but no collisions from them. Just kind of moved the orbits around. And Dione's orbit has only been getting more elliptic and inclined. But that's really the same for Hyperion as well, or for really any moon orbit in Saturn now. So I'm gonna just speed up time really fast. So I think I'm gonna end it here since nothing has nothing's really happened between any of these moons. So what we're left this is or what we're left with is Dione, Titan, Rhea, which is three major moons are left, and there's two little moons. So we got Hyperion and Epimetheus, which if there had to be a winner here, it would probably be Epimetheus since it destroyed a lot of moons. But yeah, uh, that'll probably be the end of this one. And if you have any ideas, suggestions, whatever they want me to do, uh, tell me in the comments. And I'll, I'll see you, see what I can do. And there's a chance I probably won't get to your idea right away since there's already a lot of ideas that people have given me. Which I'm happy to have, so I'll never run out of ideas. So it may take a little while to get to your uh, suggestions or ideas or whatever. But yeah, um, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.